Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to the channel McNally Money, home of all things stock, investment, and personal finance related. Now for today's video, we're going to be introducing a brand new stock on the channel. The company name is Boosh Plant-Based Products, and as the name implies you guys, this is a company that's focused on bringing convenient alternatives to customers looking for plant-based or vegan products. Now a couple of reasons I'm so excited about this company. It's truly a penny stock in every sense of the word. They're trading right around a dollar per share. They're Canadian based actually in Surrey, BC, and they've got multiple different revenue streams that they're actually expanding and growing within the organization. So in today's video, we're gonna do a deep dive analysis on their business. We're gonna talk about some recent news developments at Bouge and some of the reasons I think this one definitely belongs on your watch list. Now with that being said, you guys, please take a second, hit the like button. If you're not already subscribed to the channel, McNally Money, feel free to do so. And let me know in the comment section below if you've heard of Boosh, if you're currently holding shares, and how you think they stack up to some of the other competitors in the plant-based or vegan space that we've talked about on this channel. Now with that being said, let's get into today's video. Okay guys, so that's right, today's video we're going to be talking about Boosh plant-based brands. This is a new company to the channel, I'm super excited to talk about them. It fits within the channel niche perfectly as they're a plant-based protein or plant-based vegan alternative type of company, but really focused on bringing convenient products to consumers in a variety of different formats. Now ticker symbol on this one, VGGIF. They trade on the OTC in the US. They also trade on the Canadian Securities Exchange under the ticker symbol VEGI or Veggie. Market cap on this one, very small compared to some of the other companies in this space that we've talked about on the channel. So on the US side of things, they closed out November 22nd session at about 94 cents, which gives them a market cap right around the $15 million US type of price point. Now towards the end of the presentation, we're gonna compare Boosh to some of the other operators in this space. And as you'll quickly see, this is definitely one of the smallest operators in this category or industry. So if you're looking for exposure to this high growth sector, I think Boosh is definitely worth a closer look and should be on your guys' watch list. Now in terms of the share price movement over the last couple of months, if you bring up a six month chart, you can see Boosh has essentially traded flat since the middle of August. They were trading in the low 90 cent range. And again, their most recent close here was at 94 cents. Now there's been a ton of developments at Boosh over the last couple of months, some big distribution agreements. They're getting into more and more retailers here in Canada. So I definitely think in terms of entry point, the low 90s or really anything under a dollar is looking quite attractive. Now with that being said, towards the end of September, Boosh actually went on quite a big run. They went all the way up to $1.25 US. And since then they have pulled back, hitting a low of 85 cents on October 25th. Now one other thing I wanted to bring up here, in terms of inside ownership at Boosh, about 30% of the shares are actually held by insiders. So because this company has such a small market cap and because such a large number of shares are actually held by insiders, the potential for a big rapid upside move in Bouge is definitely there. And that's one thing to keep an eye on. We're going to talk about their business model in depth in today's presentation, but keep that in the back of your mind here, you guys. They're trading under a dollar US, $15 million market cap, and about 30% of the shares are actually held by insiders. So in terms of video format here, we're gonna start off on the Boosh website. We're gonna look at what this company is all about, talk about some of the industry trends here, take a look at some of the recent news articles in relation to plant-based diets. Then we're gonna get a look and feel for some of the products that are offered by Boosh, jump into their investor presentation, and then talk about how they stack up to some of the others that compete in this space. So super exciting video here today, a lot to unpack you guys. So as promised, we're gonna start off on the company website here. As you can see, the company motto, good food, good mood. And in terms of a mission statement here, a plant-based comfort food mission, plant-based diets might be better for the planet, but finding fast and convenient meals can be challenging until now. Boosh has developed six 100% plant-based heat and serve bowls for one, and entrees for two. So we're gonna look at some of the different products that are offered by Boosh in a second here. 
But again, the goal with this company is not just to serve the plant-based or vegan consumer, but really to do so in a convenient way that makes these type of products very competitive with others that you may find in your local grocery store. Now, as we continue to scroll down on the Boosh website, you can see society in general is becoming more health conscious, aware of our environmental and global impacts based on the lifestyle and specifically the food that we choose. Now, we're gonna look at a really interesting research report on the next slide here that relates to that statement. But as Boosh clearly identifies here, embracing a plant-based lifestyle is definitely not easy for all consumers. Many of us, and likely most of us, especially in North America, grew up eating primarily a meat-based diet. So switching the way we think about food and these menu items or meals we put together is definitely difficult. And that's where the accessibility or convenience factor comes in that really sets Boosh apart from some of the other operators in the plant-based or vegan space. Boosh was created for one simple reason. We want to help health conscious consumers meet their goals by providing convenient plant-based meals for people who find it challenging to prepare meals from scratch. And what's interesting to me, Connie Marples, who's the founder of Boosh, actually started out doing this in the greater Vancouver area with meals that she actually made in her own kitchen. So she would create and cook meals like this for her friends, family. That then grew from exchanging recipes to actually delivering frozen or hot meals to her close circle of contacts. And over time, the audience actually grew. And that's the origin of the publicly traded company we see today that's now available in hundreds of grocery stores across Canada with the U.S. slated for launch right around the corner here. And I think it's important to pause on this point for a second here. If you've been following my channel for some time, you know that I love companies that are founder led. I look for this as part of my investment criteria. If you look at some of the biggest companies in the world, whether it's Facebook, Tesla, Salesforce, they share this in common. And it really is something that sets these companies apart from the competition. Nobody has the same passion, vision, and underlying work ethic for their business as the founder. And the fact that Connie Marples has seen Boosh grow from her kitchen to where it is today is truly impressive and definitely something worth noting. Now, as promised on the previous slide, this is a research report from Health Focus International that talks about navigating the world of plants. So this is all things plant-based or vegan in terms of investing, trends, and different types of topics that we're seeing emerge. And there's a couple of things I wanted to point out specifically in this research report as it relates to Boosh and the plant-based industry overall. And to be honest, this is one of the major reasons I'm so excited about this sector. I've covered a number of these companies on the channel previously. We're actually gonna compare Boosh to some of the other operators we've mentioned on the channel towards the end of the video, but the sector overall is poised for massive growth here, you guys. And I feel like this research report does a really good job of explaining some of these macro trends. Now, it's probably no secret to most of you that eating plant-based or partly plant-based diets really does have a lot of benefits. So whether that's personal health, disease prevention, the amount of energy you have, or actually environmental or animal rights reasoning, there's a number of different benefits that are going along with this trend. So this section really didn't come as a huge surprise. However, what was interesting to me is really the growing category that's labeled as flexitarian. So traditionally, you think about people who eat plant-based diets and you think of them as either falling into the vegetarian or vegan category. But when you actually look at the numbers here, you guys, 56% of people who are eating these products actually still eat meat. And that's what's really driving the expansion of this flexitarian category. So if you look, only 7% of people are actually vegetarian, 3% identify as vegan. So a combined 10% of consumers fall into one of those two categories. However, as mentioned, 56% of consumers actually eat these products, but still eat meat as well. And that's exactly the category my wife and I fall into and why I feel the total addressable market or TAM for these type of companies is so massive, you guys, because it's not just focused on vegetarians or vegans, but really anyone looking to obtain those benefits we talked about on the prior slide. And with that being said, now I wanted to jump back over to the Boosh website and look at some of the different products and meals that are actually enticing consumers to try out these plant-based products. So Boosh actually participates in a number of different categories. And if you think about a grocery store, there's really frozen, refrigerated, and shelf-stable products. So the fact that Boosh is looking to expand and make an entrance into each one of these three categories 
It is really quite impressive considering the size and market cap of this company. Now we're going to look at the products in a little bit more detail, but I did want to give you a look and feel for them here in the intro. So they've got their heat and eat meals or packets, they've got bowls and entrees, and even their salt spring harvest pate and dips, and vegan cheese alternatives. Now we're going to look at the products in a little bit more detail later in the presentation, but I wanted to give you an initial feel for some of the different categories and products that are offered by Bouche. So with that being said, we're now going to jump into the investor presentation and look at the company in a little bit more detail under the hood. So the mission statement, we're on a mission to make plant-based foods more accessible, more convenient, which we mentioned, and more delicious. And the why behind all of this is really to bring some of those plant-based benefits to mainstream society. So as we just looked at, plant-based diets are actually better for the consumer and the planet, but a lot of people really haven't experimented with this food because of the convenience factor, or at least until now. And we talked about the total addressable market for these type of products. If you're looking only at plant-based meat or plant-based protein alternatives, estimates have just this subcategory alone growing by $7.2 billion over the next four years. So that gives a compound annual growth rate in excess of 25%, which is really quite astonishing, not to mention all of the other plant-based categories. Now, speaking of this plant-based category, what makes Boucher Disruptor compared to some of the other alternatives or other companies that operate in this space? So number one, obviously 100% plant-based, their products are naturally gluten-free, dairy-free, non-GMO, nutritionally balanced, so low in sugar, sodium, and calories. They don't use any artificial flavors or colors. Unique center plate entrees, so in addition to the appetizers and sides, these are actually wholesome, full entree style meals. And because of their convenient packaging, they appeal to busy consumers across multiple different demographics, not to mention a competitive price point, which in many cases is actually lower than the meat alternative. And with that being said, here's a closer look at some of these various products that are offered by Bouche. So they've got veggie bolognese, mac and cheese with peas, coconut curry cauliflower, Mexican fiesta, rustic veggie pot pie, hearty shepherd's pie. So again, really covering a lot of those comfort food categories. And as you can see, these are full standalone meals. Now, the other thing I wanted to point out on a couple of the packages, you can actually see a Beyond Meat logo. And that's actually because Bouche has an alliance with Beyond Meat. So this is absolutely massive for the company. Beyond Meat is probably the most recognized brand in the plant-based space. So the fact that they can cross promote their products with this logo and this existing company is absolutely massive for Bouche. Now, in addition to all of the bowls and entrees, as we discussed in that initial intro, they also offer what's called Boosh pouches. These include things like chili, gravy, sloppy joe mix. So again, comfort foods here that a lot of people in North America specifically were raised on that they can now get as a plant-based alternative. So now that we've talked about what Boosh is all about, how the company came to be, the different products that they offer, I wanted to take a look at the Boosh ecosystem before we start moving into some of the numbers and competitive analysis. So there's really five components that go into these products. First and foremost is the sourcing. So this is where the actual ingredients come from. These are all sourced from local produce companies. So fresh, farm to table type of feel here. The products. This features proprietary formulas and recipes, again, non-GMO, gluten-free, uniquely designed for these single serving or family meals. Using the expertise of Connie and the rest of the development team, they've got that creative direction, so the visual branding, the packaging, the displays and the signage are really eye-catching and draw in the consumer's attention. The distribution, so a couple of points here, they actually successfully negotiated distribution agreement with Unify, which is one of the leading health food distributors in North America. Now, in addition to that, they've also got distribution agreements with Veggie Holdings. Funny enough, we just talked about on the channel previously here. And in the US, they've also got an agreement with a company by the name of Thrive. So very robust distribution network. On the retail side of things, they're currently in over 400 major retailers across Canada. So this includes Whole Foods Canada, Safeway, Nature's Fair, IGA, Thrifty Foods, Nestor Markets, so some of the main grocery retailers here in Canada, and they're continually looking to expand that footprint in Canada and the United States. 
And that's a perfect segue to this slide here, which starts to talk about the various revenue streams and the multiple different forms of revenue that Boosh has within their organization. So the first is organic. This is again by continually growing the number of retailers and grocery stores that Boosh products are available in. So again, 15,000 grocery stores in Canada, 42,000 in the US, of which Boosh is currently in just over 440. Now in terms of revenue here, you guys, this is where the primary revenue is coming from for Boosh at this point in time. So if you look at their financial filings, they're putting up about $33,000 of revenue in the most recent quarter. So it definitely is a smaller company, but again, you're getting in at the ground floor. Now the second revenue stream is through acquisition. And the team at Boosh has actually acquired three companies since February of this year. So Vegan Canteen, Salt Spring Harvest, which is some of those veggie based pâtés, and Pulse Kitchen. So very active in the M&A space. The third revenue stream here, you guys, is expansion into the United States. And again, that's really going to be driven through that partnership with Thrive and ShopVeggie.com or Veggie Holdings, which we just talked about. Then they've got their e-commerce division. So actually ordering Boosh products online. And again, you can do that through the shopveggie.com platform or e-commerce website. And then what's super exciting here, this article just came out November 5th, but it talks about Boosh actually pushing into a fifth revenue stream, which is selling directly to the food service industry. So this is gonna include places like hotels, restaurants, bars, cafes, cafeterias, even potentially airlines. And as the founder and president, Connie Marple states, the food service sector is not necessarily equipped to deal with plant-based menu requests with regards to specially sourced ingredients and cross-contamination. However, the Boosh products are high quality, ready-made, and easy for the food service sector to adopt. So again, they're leveraging the convenience factor here, and they're now pushing into new markets and new revenue streams that are looking for convenient plant-based alternatives for their customers. So I think this is a massive opportunity and this fifth revenue stream could be very transformational for this company if they're able to get some major partnerships under their belt. Now before we end things out, I did wanna take a quick look at the competitive landscape both on the product front and other companies or potential investments in the plant-based space. So in terms of the product front here, you can see Boosh is currently the only brand available that hits across every single category here. So 100% vegan, 100% gluten-free, the only company in this category to have that claim to fame. Compostable Dish, it's a Canadian-based company along with Gardein. They've got family size options and non-GMO. So if you're a consumer looking for these six categories, really the only option you have is Boosh. And again, you can see how bright and welcoming their packaging is compared to some of the alternatives. Now in terms of retail price or pricing on their products, you can see they hit kind of the midpoint here around $6.99 for their bowls, $14 for their entrees, and $11 for their pouches. So very competitively priced. And again, when you compare that to meat alternatives or traditional meat meals, very attractive pricing. Now in terms of the competition or how they stack up on the investment side of things here, you can see two different categories. So Canadian listed companies and US listed companies. Now keep in mind, Boosh is about a $15 million market cap in terms of US dollars here. So whether you're looking at the Canadian companies or some of the bigger players in the US here, you guys, Boosh market cap represents a fraction of some of these other companies. And that's exactly why this potential investment is so exciting because you're getting in at the ground floor. Now, if you look at some of the big guys here, so Beyond Meat, again, they've got that alliance. They're fetching market caps in excess of $6 billion. Now we've talked about the very good food company, Tattooed Chef on this channel as well. Those companies, although they are quite a bit smaller compared to Beyond Me, are still in the hundreds of millions of dollars in terms of market cap, which really does show the appetite from investors for exposure to this type of category or product. So with that being said here, you guys, I definitely think Bouge deserves a look and should be added to your watch list if you're looking for exposure into this space. Again, founded in 2017 by Connie Marple, so founder-led. They've got award-winning products. They're one of the only players in this space to be 100% plant-based, non-GMO, gluten-free, as well as having less sodium and sugar than most of their competitors. They've got that expanded distribution agreement throughout Canada, the Beyond Meat Alliance, which we talked about. They've got their e-commerce sales ramping up here through shopveggie.com in both Canada and the United States. 
They're getting into U.S. retailers through U.S. natural food brokers. They had a lot of M&A activity, so those three plant-based acquisitions we talked about since the start of the year. And they're onboarding a tremendous amount of new grocery stores here in Canada, so 250 in the last 10 months alone, which again has brought them up to that 440 mark, which is really only a fraction or scratching the surface of the total grocery stores in Canada and the United States. So for those reasons, again, I definitely think Bouche deserves a closer look. Now, if you do want additional information here, you can take a look at their investors page on the Boosh website. They've got a number of great videos, press releases, and presentations available, and I'll leave a link to the website in the video description below. Now, that's all for today. Feel free to leave a comment. Let me know if you're currently holding shares of Boosh, how you think they stack up to some of the other competitors we've talked about on the channel. If you're not already subscribed, McNally Money, feel free to do so. And if you're still watching the video at this point, hopefully you found some value, so make sure you hit the like button on your way out. That's all for now. Thanks again for watching and have a great rest of your day.